Hi again everyone. It's video tutorial number eight. Output to MIDI and the B patcher. Very exciting day we have planned today. Um, so we put away our key uh, output the other day and now I'm going to show you one way uh, to put it into a patcher that's different than the way that we did it the other, day, other way. Um, in the last video we encapsulated things in a patcher in a patcher but the B patcher is a little bit different so let's just drag it out onto the window here and uh, make it big because sometimes that's very helpful okay so the B patcher looks like almost nothing when it's out here and what you have to do is go to the inspector and find, whoops, select it, go to the inspector and scroll down and you have to find a patcher to put in it. So down here um, we'll just choose, we need to choose a patcher file. So choose, uh, I didn't see that one coming, okay. Um, our key, yes, I just want to make sure it was the right one. This is how I have mine labeled, and we open it. And look at that. It opens up right inside the B patcher. So we move this around until we get that thing just so. Um, there's, uh, if it doesn't quite fit in there right, I'm very happy with the way this is because it fits right at the top. But if you don't like it, you can go over here and change these numbers 10 point space 20 point and see if that's better oh look it put it right in the middle I actually like it the way it was and I like the zero clearance look so zero point space zero point space and hit return and there it is and now I'm gonna trim this up before I trim it up notice there's three outlets you won't be able to see them very well when I make this thing just the right size. So there we go. Now, lock our let's just lock our patcher for a second and consider what good it does to do all this. Well, let's try our keys out now. Here's an A, B, C, and remember we also improved it so it can do multi notes now. Bum, bum, I'm sorry. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, fabulous. Now we have this thing that we can. Oh, I'm playing it. Sorry, you have to unlock it. There we go. Now you can move this thing around and it can be a sort of a visual part of your project. Um, you'll probably want to include this one in your presentation of this patcher. Now, it's worth noting that this patcher can't be edited now from inside this patcher. You have to open the other patcher, meaning 04 key to uh, key input patcher to edit it. But in that way, you've made a tool for yourself. So the old patcher is now the tool for this new patcher, which I've saved as 05 key B patch, because we're illustrating the B patch today. OK, so there's my notes. And I'm going to clear those notes that I just accidentally <laughs> uh, forgot to lock my patcher. This is what happens. Hello. OK, lock the patcher, then play your keys and then you will be happy. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, great. Unlock your patcher, and let's put some number boxes in here just so we can see what's going on. Type the I, and either type it two more times, or control, or, or uh, option click on things. Okay, I'm just gonna put these underneath the three outlets so that we know what is going on with our numbers. Okay, so there they all are connected. Of 
great. Everything's straight and looking good. Lock your patcher, play your plane A. Look at that. 48, 46, 130. 48, 0, 130. 50, 46, 146. 50, 0. So the 50, 0 is turning the note off. And if I push the A key down again, that's the one that always plays a C, um, we get 48 at 46. Now we always get a 46 no matter what key we play. And that's because we have the volume adjusted that way. And what we uh, unlock your patcher, you'll notice that there's an inlet up here that we had left before for um, a volume input. So before we go too much further, let's go ahead and um, get the Explorer here, get a slider. Not a gain, that's not what we want. We want a slider slider. And we're going to put it over here as our as our uh, volume control. And let's look at it in the inspector. In MIDI, we all, almost always use numbers between 1 and 100, uh, excuse me, between 0 and 127, meaning 128 numbers. So this one's already set up for that. If you look down here, the range is 128. So this is going to work perfectly for us. If, for example, we wanted a range of 0 to 1, which happens a lot, we would have to click this box that says float output and then make this a 1, a 1.0, excuse me. And then the whole range of this would only go from 0 to 1 through decimals. But 1 to 128 makes sense in MIDI. Okay, so we're going to wire this up to our B patcher. lock it down and let's turn the volume up. Let's turn it up all the way and see what see what comes out. So now we hit the notes. You see they're 127, 101, 86. We want to play quietly. Great. All right, that's great. So now that we've done that, we have this great thing that we can do, which is just run it right out to the onboard MIDI synthesizer that's on your computer. And there's a super easy way to do that, which is called Note Out. And here's how we do it. We unlock this patcher. We type the letter N for a new. We type Note Out. It just comes right up. There it is. Double click on it. And let's put it down here and we will connect this to it and also this which is our velocity. And we're not going to get fancy yet. You know, I don't like it when it's that way. I like it better this way. More space. Okay, and now we lock our patcher. Double click on the node out and you'll see all the devices that it can output to. Um, on a Macintosh, this is what you want to play, the AU DLS Synth 1. Audio unit, uh, I can't remember what DLS stands for, Synth 1. That's the one you want. And we're locked down, so let's uh, see if we've got a surprise here. Does our volume work? Beautiful, beautiful. And now, what everybody's been waiting for, I'm going to turn the volume up, and finally I get to play.
Fantastic. Well, that was an awfully easy video, and we've already got MIDI working and going out. So congratulations, everyone, and we'll be back to see what we can do in the next video. Thanks for watching.